Hey guys, it's me AJ and welcome to Spyro Reignite Trilogy. I'm so excited to play this because this is one of my childhood games. Just like Tomb Raider, bleh, the whole classic franchise. And this is another franchise I enjoy playing too. Look, it has three of my favorite games. Except for the other games I have never played before that were also the soldier. But that's besides the point. Anyways, the only way we're gonna go through this is start with the first chapter, which is Spyro the Dragon. Also, I have a few mods in this, and it's only just changing the music. Hold up, let's let us speak. Okay, rolling. Uh, ah. Uh, oh, uh, it's been peaceful here in the five worlds. Or is it six? <laughs> For six. Age, we now have 12,000 treasure. Or is it 14,000? You're not good at this. This character. Now... I understand he's found a magic spell to turn gems into warriors for his cause. I'll take that question. Alright. Nasty Nork is a simple creature. Simple? He doesn't like that. In a remote world and is no threat to the dragon kingdom. No threat! <laughs> Besides, he is ugly. Uh. Ugly? <laughs> that does it! Dang. Huh? Looks like I've got some things to do. <laughs> I didn't even know Nancy Nork had this old. I like how they remake these to make them even more funnier. I didn't know TV technology is a thing. Now, as I was saying, uh. Uh, if you guys notice how different the music is, well, the reason for that is mostly because, well, <laughs> the, the mod for this one is that it kind of mixes the music of the original classic PS1 Spiral games to the, to the trilogy ones, as you can see. Now, um, <laughs> I know how to control these, thankfully. My question is, uh, how do we... Okay, hold up. Uh, I gotta figure out how to do that thing when Sparks, uh, tur like points out where all the treasure is. Alright, there it is. That, okay. Thank you. Um, I don't know how the quality is. Hold up. I Hold up. Let's just talk to this guy real quick so I wouldn't have to have you guys only watch me saying my stuff. Hello. Thank you for releasing me, Spyro. Yeah. Free ten dragons in the artisan world, then find the balloonist. He'll transport you to the next world. What about Nasty Nork? I'm going after him. Find dragons first. That's all I can tell you. Yeah, like I said, they get it all for this one. Does this door ever open? Guess not. Alright, I guess this is how our quality is going to be, I guess. Okay. Let's... Hey! Don't run away from me, okay? <laughs> Let me... Let's... Let's... I, I know we gotta go through these portals, but... How we're we gonna do this first hand is just try to oh well simple approach uh try to collect as much treasure from here as we can save these guys as well oh oh this guy's ours keep your horns on Spyro you have much to learn first do you know what the dragonfly following you is doing uh... His name is Sparks, and he's helping and protecting you. Keep an eye on him and see what I mean. Yeah, we ha yeah, got glad to know that. Okay, okay, I do recall this. Uh... Okay, we're doing good so far. Also, I guess in particular areas such as these, we're not really capable of swimming. Oh. Okay, okay. <laughs> Moving on. Get these uh, green goblins just attacking for a little bit. Alright. Before we go into any of these worlds, the best option for us to do is collect any treasures and save any dragons around here. Which shouldn't be that much of a hard approach since clearly... As we know, we have Sparks by our side who's like a magnet to these things. Also, most importantly, uh, okay, how do we, uh... Okay. Okay. Great, we have it. Skill point required. I don't know what skill point does. Uh, hold up. Saving, uh, get these guys. Okay. Uh. 
Well, clearly, we, I don't think whatever that is must be some sort of portal, which we sadly can't access. Can we? No, we can't. Probably wise, we can't do that. Actually, I think that's, that place is like the last area we need to go to before anything else, so we'll leave that area alone. Uh, oh. Okay. Oh. We want to ride to this dragon. Hey, Spyro. Press the jump button twice to glide. And, and don't be afraid. Afraid? Of what? Falling from high mountain peaks? Plummeting into prehistoric glaciers? Oh, that. Oh. Hold up. Why am I dakes up? Okay. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> I I can assure you my efforts for tre oh 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 wait this guy is carrying treasure. Make sure we uh we don't actually miss any. Oh woohoo! Yeah ah oh also these fairies are here to help us too. We. Uh, we also have uh, a map right here that can tell us where we're at. There's another portal for something. And just for safety precautions, we got that down. Sorry, I shouldn't be singing, but I'm just hyped. You know, this game was my childhood, and the fact that they remade this like a few years ago, people are still playing it. Plus, you can even mod this now, too. Kind of like how I, I want Mon Kingdom Hearts to make it a little bit better. You know what I mean? Collecting the treasure chests is also satisfying too. Look what we're doing so far. So that's the guy we need to talk to? Well right now we can't really talk to him at the moment. I like how there's literally nothing out there. It's just ocean view. Ow. Okay. Uh. Oh. Um, it's pointing at something, I just don't know why <laughs> Sparks, you see treasure somewhere out here? I'm confused. No, seriously, I'm confused. Okay, yo, no more messing around. Time to save this dragon. Cool flash. Do that again. The artisan's boss is through a portal in the dragon mouth. But you are not yet ready, Spyro. First, you must complete one of the other artisan lands. Well, I mean, at least all track is... Oh, okay, well, we say we would do it. So this place is complete. Now let's go into one of the hills. I also like how we are able to basically just maneuver like this. Do this, do that. You know, pajamas. <laughs> it's really cool that we get to do this in a way that, you know, we get to just roll around while loading. Hopefully these loading screens don't take forever though, because let's be honest though, I would not like to take any more loading screens of death. Alright, show off Spyro! Okay, we are here. I forgot what this place is, but honestly, it's cool. Now let's go look around this place. Oh! Um, why have I done to you, goat? Okay, first of all, I did nothing to you, so what gifts? Alright. These things are only destroyed by cosmic, uh... What do we call it? Headbutts. Yay, our head is luckily iron, so... Headbutts are not usually an issue for us. Linda, you're awake. When you free a dragon or step on one of their platforms, you're saving your progress. That could be useful if you run into trouble. Not that you ever run into trouble, Spyro. Yeah, like we're capable of running into complete utter trouble. Alright, time to counter more stuff. Oh! Yep. Oh! Oh, I did not even see you! Hey, don't disturb me while I'm trying to collect all this gem stuff, okay? You have off. Uh, well, my question is now, where do we go from here? I mean, I know there's more stuff around here, but, you know. Still questioning it. Oh. Well, that chest is not gonna be open without a key. Gavin! Let's see what you are. Oh. Is that coffee? Watch the dragonfly, Spyro. His color indicates his power. When he eats butterflies, he stays strong. Like me. Uh, sure. Alrighty, well, um. 
Glad they're giving us simple attacks that we already know because we played the original. Alright, let's keep looking around to see what's around here. Oh. There's an exit, but surely that's not gonna... Oh. I wanna know what those things are, if I might ask. Anyways. Uh, we're not gonna go through there yet. We gotta start exploring around here, collect as much as we can. I hear noises, but I don't know what it's from. Oh. Yeah, no thank you. Your, uh... Yeah, your headbutts can't be compared to mine. I swear, dragon, you guys are just goats. Ah! Also, I'm not... Yeah, uh... <laughs> Why are these guys trying to kill us, okay? They're just, they're, we're not, like, a threat to them or anything, unless they try to attack us. I mean, we're just diving them straight up because they know they'll, we'll try to they'll t attack us just like that. Okay, uh, let's see... Oh! Guess we're going in. Hold up. Do I see something around that thing? Oh! Didn't I just kill you? <laughs> the way they die with it has flow in their buzz is funny. Alright. Let's see who's here. Oh. The it took a lot of them to try to figure out what the names of these guys are. Oh. Spyro, my friend. How about a hint on gliding? You bet. For the longest glide, press the jump button at the top of your jump. And try pressing the action button to drop down mid-flight. With some guy who's also an artist. Alright, uh, blue gems give us five, red gems give us one, alright, now that we got that clear, oh no, I did not mean to fall off, alright, that's fine, just gonna ignore that, now no, uh, make no mistake, there is a force field around some of these areas that prevent us from going out of bounds, that's pretty obvious by now, since, you know, we played it before, and also, we gotta collect some eggs too. Forgot to mention that's one of our cases. We gotta collect eggs in our si for our sake uh, of completing the game 100%. These dragon gates are purple. Although, uh, in, the, in the year of the dragon, we're doing something related to. Okay, can we blow this guy off? There we go. I never get a good look at the robber's face. Oh, alright. Let's see where he wants to go now. Because we're gonna follow Sparks because he knows where all the treasure is. And we gotta make sure we collect all the treasure. And so far, we're doing good at that. Oh. Uh, nice. Nice. Hold on, wait. Oh, hold up. Yeah, I figured something was off. I was like, wait, where is that Gus is coming from? Oh, a key! This should probably unlock the gate that we saw earlier. So let's get back to the area. Let's see how much it- uh, No! No! Come on! No! I didn't even mean to step into that thing. All I wanted to do was get to the treasure chest that across the key. There we go. Loot! Alright, well that's not all the treasure- Wait. Okay. Yeah, like I said, that's not all the treasure. So we gotta see where Spark wants us to go next for the treasure. Remember when I was talking about the force field? That's it. All these around the dinghy are force fields. So, uh, don't, uh, attempt to go out of bounds. Maybe some per people already did, but there's literally nothing else out there out of the woods. However, oh, there's a lot of gems here. Weehoo! Sparks, you're on a roll. I should have been more useful with this because I didn't notice this was something Sparks was capable of doing until now. More green shards. Whoop! Whoop! And I think that's all. Yep, that's all the shards here. So now, uh, the last thing we gotta do is free the dragon that's actually in front of the action, actually. Okay, see what we have. You had to say to us. After you freed all the dragons, pass through this fancy vortex uh, thingamajigger. It'll take you back to the artisan home. <laughs> But first, let me tell you a story. No thanks. See ya! <laughs> wow, rude much. Also, is that the same guy that was messing up previously? Oh. Uh. Sorry, I did not mean to hit by you, fairy. Okay, we're going back to our home. We're heading to Down Square! Because it was right next to the first level we just did. So, let's see what this area has in store for us. 
It was one of the more tedious levels because of my incapability of running fast or gliding, so which is why it was like a struggle. I spawned in front of a lot of chickens. Yeah. Okay, just to clarify guys, did I download this mod right? Just to make sure, because this music is supposed to be a mix of the original and the newest. I think it worked. Oh. Oh, not our guy. Oh, that guy's Finn. Welcome to Town Square, Spyro. Begin exploring by gliding to that area with the bulls. Use the right stick to get a good look. Unless you're playing on a keyboard, they don't have dialogue changed if you're playing on a keyboard. Oh, and once again, uh, we can't really swim in water, so... Attack the bulls! Because these guys are angry for no pair reason. Okay, now that we did that... Oh. Now, uh, I've got to mention another thing. When you, you defeat the same bot monsters when you defeated before, they don't drop gems, but instead drop things that are meant to give you more health, if anything. Pretty much. Oh. Let's see what this is. Oh. Thanks, Spyro. <laughs> I have the worst itch on the tip of my wing. Did you know that you get your longest glides by pressing the jump button at the very top of your jump? We all know- You're telling us the same stuff over again. Also, that guy's being chased by some sort of, uh, ox. <laughs> I know if I try to, you know. Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You will be grateful to if even if I save your ass life. Oh, I see another uh, thief around here. Literally, there's not much to this level considering how short this is. A little short compared to the other ones. Oh, yeah. Uh, clear these mumble, uh, bimbles out of the way, and then next we just head bash more stuff just to get more treasure. Oh. Um. Okay. I. I was expecting you, Dad. Oh. Let's see, um, rescue Alfor. We'll see what he's gonna say. <laughs> Spyro, do you see a man dressed in blue running around here? He's a thief, and he's stolen a dragon egg. You've got to track him down and, and get that egg. Run, run. <laughs> I'm getting a little winded. <laughs> that, that, that's funny. Yeah, I saw that guy on the other side, but the only way we get to him is if we glide in a proper manner. So, let's try to pro glide in the proper manner. Which is here. Now this part is difficult because I had to chase after him while, you know, let's just say collecting all this uh, treasure lagoons. Ow! I'm legit, I'm letting him go. That's literally what's going on. Yeah, uh, okay. Uh, hold up. I'll get to you in a bit, but first I'm just trying to clear what's... Okay. Now, yellow uh, gems are capable of pretty much uh, giving us 10 amounts. Okay, that's all the gems from right now. Rescue 4, <laughs> not the Avengers 4. Thank you for releasing me, Spyro. You can always check your progress by accessing the guidebook through the pause menu. That's all the dragons we saved. Ah! Huh. Well, that was simple. <laughs> we didn't really... Literally, I think we were we were so fast for him that he didn't even have time to react. Thankfully for that. And we're back to the original world. Okay, well, the next place we're gonna uh, get to is... What we consider to be... These tedious levels called the speed runs. Every spiral game has these, and like I said, they're tedious because you will have to try to do certain tasks in one go with a time limit, otherwise you will have to do it all over again. So we're gonna jump into this considering that um I'm gonna have a struggle. Uh Sunny Flight is the what the place is called. Alright, let's do this right and let's do it proper too. I don't see anything else around here. Hold up, hold up. I think I already messed up. Did I? I really hope I didn't. Uh, let's do it like this then. Okay, um... That's... 
That's a, that's a concept? There's a concept? Where's the other train? Uh. Like I said, you gotta do this in one go. Where's, where the heck did the other train go? Aw, oh, I'm already wasting time. Alright, let's try to do this properly this time. Well, not properly. More like, let's try to do it in, a, in a, an approaching manner that could be beneficial to us. Okay, like that? Like that? Nope, nope, nope. Oh, God. Yeah, this is gonna take us a little bit. You guys understand that, you know? Ah, restarting is always a good sign, though, sometimes. Even though, sometimes I wish we didn't have to. Eh. Well. Um, okay. Oh, nope. Nope. I was gonna say, we were able to stand up fine. What the heck happened just then? Who knows? Alright, let's try to attack the trains first. Maybe that will help. Let's go where they're going. It'd be easier, too. Or, uh, get these guys, too. Okay. The guys with the planes are easy to catch without them moving too much. Alright. Oh. Oh. I, saw, I spot one. Where's the other one? Oh! My, my maneuvers are so off, it's nuts! Oh! Oh god, we just wasted a little bit of time for a second. Okay, no, oh, no! I thought we had something there. Okay, um, okay, I was gonna say, don't mess up. We were almost at the brink of messing up. Alright, so we took care of that. Now we just gotta, um... Okay, let's try to go after whatever all this is firsthand, because, you know... This could lead us somewhere, and I don't want to accidentally mess up by not collecting whatever all this is here. Which, uh, I guess, interestingly enough, is a whole lot of treasure, I guess? Can't say for sure. Oh, wait, I c actually, I can, because they look like chests, in a way. Okay, now let's try to head back, if we're able to. Don't bump into any more walls, okay? We already had to deal with enough problems for that. And let's try not to mess this up, because... We only need to collect these things left, and uh, with the time we have, we should be able to do it. And I don't want to mess up by accidentally diving into the water accidentally, and it'll be pathetic too. Okay, so far... Okay, get one, and we are done. Perfect. We had... We had only... It took about, like, about new record. Oh, there's a tie for this because it's a speed run too. But I don't care about that. We're just done and that's all. I'll never care for the uh, getting a new record for the speed runs. Unless, you know, you guys want me to do that, but... Uh, what are the chances of me... You guys want me to do that, that's for sure. Next world is Dark Hollow. So, we, we should expect that it's gonna be nighttime. Uh, which is funny because there are other areas where, like, sunlight and daytime. Uh, midnight, even okay, morning, e uh, midday, evening, e you guys get the idea. We're flying into sails. Another classic area. Woohoo! Oh. Oh, yeah, I forgot these guys have swords and shields. So I gotta be careful with that. Oh. I'm trying to... Okay. Attack the guy, okay? Jeez. That didn't have not had to take that long. Okay, there's that. Alright. Oh, this guy's big. Make sure he doesn't slap us. So far, our progress has been amazing. Alvin, let's see what you had to say to us. Oh, it's you. I wasn't sure if you'd escape those annoying little creatures. Of course they wouldn't bother me, but here's a hint. Their metal armor is fireproof, but a charge attack will take care of them. Yeah, uh, already found that out from the beginning. Alright, let's see where this leads us to. Ooh! What the- oh god! Alright, literally attacking from the back is the only way. Not so tough when you literally have his butt on fire. Another one. Okay. Like, literally, it's that simple. Okay, get this guy first. Oswin! Nice names, guys. Psst. Spyro, wanna know a secret? Use the action button when you wanna zoom in and look around. Oh, your secret's safe with me. Not a really much important secret. Alright. Get the key. Too bad the keys are not magnetic like sports. You gotta go right towards them in order to get them, which is kind of lame, but oh well. Oh. 
Thank you so much, Barks. Uh, your magnet powers are doing wonders for us. Hey! Hey! Woo! Nice. Ah ha ha! This is fun. Fun, 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 fun. Oh. Thank the guys with their armor. Why are they running away as if, like, you know... Dude, they're supposed to be preparing for battle. They're not supposed to just do all whatever that is. Also, uh, does, does Light and Campfires do wonders? I'm not sure. I'm just guessing right now. Alright. Make sure we don't accidentally drop any, um... Uh, I, I don't recall if the last game uh, involved having some gems fall off the water. Nah, that's probably me going cuckoo. These guys. Really? Yeah. You're trying to beat us up with a chicken. Like, that's gonna be that everlasting effective. Eat! Nope. There's that. There's this. There's that. Okay, now just make a nice quick hover over here. Okay, seriously, I wanna know what the heck are you guys? I mean, you guys look adorable just peeking out like that. Uh, well, despite the fact that we had to destroy you for more health. Oh, you guys understand. I mean, we don't have to get them, but just for the sake of more health, we just attack them anyways. And there's how we do it. Oh, let's not get burnt too crisp. Or any other way in the matter. Hey! Oof! Whoa! Bay! Okay. Why am I making weird noises? I am not sure. All right, you're free. Big enemies like this north with the club cannot be charged, but a quick flame that should defeat them. Yeah, big flame guys are usually. Thank you so much, uh, fairy. I don't know you about. And there's that level completed. Cool. We could go home now. We get to go to the last world. Where we get to face our first boss. Let's get into this, shall we? Well, that thing opened us. Also, I forgot to mention that if... Uh, hold up. Nice you have a voice. Okay, so this guy has a different dialogue after we save everybody. So let's see what he wants to say uh, when we do this. Cool flash. Do that again. The artisan's boss is through a portal behind me. You can challenge him now. If you feel you are ready. <laughs> yeah, that's a different guy. I just wanted to do that for you guys. Alright. The next world. Literally, the worlds are literally named of the boss, which is Tulsi. And this, obviously, is a sign indicating what, how orange the whole area is. It's not sunset. It might be getting intense here. Let's just hope we can make it through this. If we can, that is. Uh, yeah, even the music is tense full, too. Oh, these guys are here, too. Oh! Oh! Okay, I forgot about these things. These dogs attempt to just gnash at you out of nowhere. And these guys are dangerous. Like, I always have struggle with these guys. Yeah, burn them once. They just attack you non-stop. Look, they already took down some of my... Oh. Oh. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Um. Like I said, these guys are a pain in the ass. You burn them once. You, they don't attack. They don't like you. Know, ah. Okay. I, I need to get a butterfly because I can't click on the treasure without sparks. And I should have been more careful with these guys. But for some dumbass reason, I wasn't. Like, how are they, how are they capable of doing it like that? This out of nowhere. Yeah, no. Oh. Wow, okay. Yeah, once you're close to them, you're just straight up fucked. Now, another tactic is just try to kill these guys as quick as possible. Like that. <laughs> just fire brief like that. They will kill you if you do it multiple times. Cool, photos of, uh, I guess, you know. Why are these guys in the area I'm supposed to get to when, when it comes to collecting stuff? 
Oh, look. The cool thing is that these guys can actually pump into the water. That's cool. Okay, now that we did that, let's try to uh, keep going forward. Die. Okay. Rescue Devin. Let's see what you have to say to us. Nasty Nork has put one of his most devious henchmen in charge of the artisan world. <laughs> Bring him on. I think I smell a barbecue. Be careful, Spyro. Toasty has many tricks up his sleeve. Yeah. No worry, we'll take care of Toasty. This guy, our first boss of the game itself. Throw this guy to crisp. Legit, it's just sheeps inside Scarecrow. Okay, sure. See? Uh, <laughs> that's, that's funny though. Oh, he has more stuff. And, yeah. Some sheets tend to be evil. And that just happens to be the first one we capture across an evil sheep. And, the jangles. We did that. Level completed. You know what that means? We just did that all in 30 minutes. It didn't even feel that long either. But look, we got a thousand gems in the process. Ugh. Now that we did that, um, we can actually go talk to the blue this guy to get us to the next world. Considering this is the first ever Spyro game, Spyro 1, it makes sense why these levels are short, but then they <laughs> give us five worlds. Oh. I see you've been busy rescuing dragons, Spyro. Yep. You may travel to the Peacekeeper's world if you like. Are you ready to go? Yeah, but I'm all set. You're a chick monk, right? I guess you're a chick monk. Okay. Oh, sorry, dude, but, you know, you do make a nice way to try to get on top of the blue. Entry Peacekeeper's world. Let's do this. Here we are in the Peacemaker's world. <laughs> this is like the Norx's little military area. Alright, hold up. Let's do this real quick. Welcome to Peacekeeper's. Look how our treasure has been stolen and turned against us. Please, recover our treasure, Spyro. Collect treasure, got it. We already collected enough of this. Yeah, you soldiers are not, like, useful for anything. Here we are. Make sure the coast is clear by making sure we take down these guys without having to... There we go. Yeah, here's the Peacekeeper's world. Really the certain area. Alright guys, we're gonna stop this right here. Uh, stay tuned for next time we play this, continuing on in the Peacemaker's world. I really enjoy playing this game, and hopefully you guys stay tuned or uh, stick around for this whole entire gameplay. As we're gonna counter upon more, you know, what you see here right now. So make sure you hit the subscribe, hit, make sure you hit the notification so you would not miss another video. And thank you so much for watching. Love you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, everybody.